Hey there fellow developers and tech enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into the world of INI files and how you can leverage the power of PowerShell to read and manipulate them effectively. I'm Alex and in this video we'll explore how to read and work with INI files using PowerShell. So let's get started. Before we jump into PowerShell, let's understand the significance of INI files. So INI files have a long history and are still used in various applications and configurations. They are essential for developers and software enthusiasts. Despite their age, INI files remain a crucial part of application configurations. Now let's explore how to read INI files using PowerShell. Now we can use the get content commandlet in PowerShell to read the contents of a specific INI file. So for example, here I can declare my INI file and say get content and I will write here, copy as pad, there you go. And then I can just output everything that's in my INI file. So that's easy, right? Uh, but there is a difference between reading the file content and transforming it into an usable format, like a hash table, for example. Microsoft offers the convert from string data commandlet, but it's not always a perfect solution, especially for complex INI files. So if we have a look at this INI file, you will see that we have here in brackets some sections defined like the owner and the database, right? So for example, if I want to redeclare, let's let's start and try to do this, right? So we can use the a new a new variable so we can use the same get content right because we are getting the content from the test.ini okay right and then we are going to do it like this but as you can see the moment we started to use the convert from string data property the problem is that the data line owner is not in the name value format because this expects an INI file to contain only this um, decorations. So for example, if I want to edit my INI file, let's do it like this. We can delete everything here. We can delete everything here. Let's save it. And now if we run it again, you will have absolutely no problem. So let's say I want to get the port see and here you have it this is the port so if you have these types of more simpler INI files this method will work however inspired by a script which was developed by Dr. Scriptio in the Microsoft dead blocks we present an improved method for reading all types of INI files uh, this uses regular expression to accurately interpret sections comments and keys so let's do undo the modifications on our file and let's jump into PowerShell eyes. And this is the function which will do everything. So let's take a closer look at, at how this PowerShell script actually works. So we define a function called get INI content, which takes the path to the INI file as a parameter. The function processes the file using regular expressions distinguishing between sections, comments, and keys, as you can see here. Uh, we can then call this function and store the output in a variable, like here, to access specific elements in the hash table. So, for example, if I'm going to run this here, hey, there you go, the name is John Doe, exactly like in our INI file, and the port is 143. Uh, bear in mind that this also makes it much easier to access specific sections for you. So if you can see here, we access the section of the owner and in the owner we have this name and also in the database section we have the port. So it's much easier to do it. However, when it comes to MSIs, Advanced Installer allows you to import INI files effortlessly and manipulate them within the MSI package. You can import INI files directly and access them through the INI file table. This offers flexibility for making changes through the hard coding properties and custom actions. 
So for example, if I go into advanced installer and go into the files and folders page, you can import files. You can easily import an INI file, for example, like this. And you can now see the sections and you can easily manipulate them exactly as you want. You can add a new section or a new entry in this particular section. Or if you want, you can use the import INI advanced, right? You can add your INI file. You already have your INI content and you can uh, do multiple things such as keep formatted references, uh, specify the exact component where this will be placed or create a new component and so forth and so on. But eventually you will have the same result here and you can modify it. In conclusion, mastering INI files with PowerShell may seem challenging, but with the right techniques, it becomes a breeze. We hope this guide has provided you with valuable insights into handling INI files effectively. That's all for today's video. If you found this information helpful, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tech tips and tutorials. Bye guys.